Welcome to the Quick Galloper YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. First start, Katie Strong took off fast on the far side and now grabs that early lead. Paul from above is racing close up to it. There goes Anonymous, and Anonymous now sprints through to get a narrow lead over KD Strong, Antarctica. Mr. Senator races in behind them as they make their way toward the six on the back stretch. KD Strong up in front with that lead. Anonymous racing close on the rail, Antarctica forming the line of three on Captured Empress, snapping at their heels. Mr. Senator close enough, if good enough. These separated by no more than three and a half lengths. Power from above, under a bit of an urge, leaves the five with that lead and now begins to make gains. Three lengths in behind him, that's Cookie Day and Night. Brown Skin Girl is a further four lengths back and a whisket going nowhere at the back. They've left the half mile. They go sprinting into that turn. Uncaptured Empress in a battle with KD Strong. A half a length separates them. Antarctica asked to quicken up. Anonymous beginning to fade. Mr. Senator and Power from above wound up for their runs. There goes Cookie Day and Night in the yellow silks, overtaking Anonymous, who is shuffled right back through the pack. Brown Skin Girl now being overtaken by Whiskid. Coming into the top of the lane. Just over two furlongs remaining, and it's on Captured Empress who has taken charge up front. On Captured Empress, out in front, under Omar Walker. He's looking for his second win on the card. Can she give it to him on Captured Empress now under a drive? Here is Power from Above now asked to slice into that lead on Captured Empress up in front. Power from Above now bearing down on the outside on Captured Empress. Gives way. Power from Above under a powerful ride. Now holds the advantage, and it's Power from Above beginning to come away from them. Matthew Bennett and Paul from above, win by maybe three. On Captured Empress, ahead of Antarctica and KD Strong in the photo, Mr. Senator behind them in fifth. Continuing the Lifetime narrative series, the focus shifts to Matthew Bennett, detailing the journey into racing, the progression within the sport, and the anticipation of what lies ahead. Recognized as the champion apprentice in 2023, Bennett's encounter with injuries is also explored. Experience this exclusive Lifetime narrative installment featuring jockey Matthew Bennett by Quick Gallop, jhay.com, and on the YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Congrats on being Champion Apprentice 2023. Thank you. What was that accomplishment like for you? A lot of hard work. A lot of hard work and a good accomplishment. Of course, it's ad it adds to your resume as a fledgling rider. Right. How did racing all start for you? Well, I got inspired by racing from my television as a young local boy. At a tender age. Yeah, I mean, see the sport I advertise on the TV and I just fall in love with it and from this up, I start follow the game. But at the time the intention was to become a jockey or just, just a love for the game? Just a love for the game and me tell myself, say, yeah, I want to do it. So I asked a friend to bring me over from the track. Mm -hmm. Where are you from originally? Dwayne Park, Kingston oh. 20. Okay. And, and your schooling? Primary was Dwayne Park Primary School. From there so I go to Pembroke High School. Okay. Uh, did racing interfere, <laughs> your love for racing for a youngster, did it interfere with your schooling at all? Well, at one point, because school them was shift school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have a time with shift, morning shift. So you know, I can't come during the week, I can come like on the weekend. But when the shift change, I'm there on the evening, I come in the morning and go about by certain time to go back to school. All right, so, so which table you first came to when you came down? First table, as I said, a friend, he knew a groom by the name of Duba. That groom was working over Noel and Eva at the time. Mm -hmm. So he bring me to Duba the morning over Mr. Eneva was the first table. What was the experience, the first experience like with these thousand pound animals? Well as a little boy. <laughs> see a morning I come. They, they was trying to put me on the ass, but so you know it's the first time, yeah, he lift me up to put me up and me like refuse, <laughs> yeah, put a straight in him and say no, <laughs> no, no go. So me kind of free at first, mm -hmm. but then 
I left from Deso and go over by Mr. Prince, Tyrone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Deso was where I ride the first horse. So your apprenticeship period would have been for, for how long? How many, how many years were you involved learning the rudiments of the sport? Most, most on and off, on mm -hmm. and off. We get serious actually like about in 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. Between that period of time, we get serious and decide to make a stay and put in work and try to catch a batch. Yeah. It happened that we met the 2018 batch. Who were the members of some of the members of that batch? We have Roman, Devin Foster, Ryan Lewis, Abigail Yemi, Tamika Lawrence, Carlos Blake. And a number of those people are the ones hotting up the place now. Right. So you got your license under which trainer? Who was your apprentice master? Mr. Philip Fiano. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's where I get the license. And that's 2018. Yeah. Can you recall the first time you rode and also your first winner? First time I rode was in a trainee apprentice race. I ride a horse by the name of Strike Prince Charlie. <laughs> yeah, Strike Prince Charlie. That was the first ride. What, what journey? Uh, that was what, six furlongs. Six furlongs. And what was that experience like? I never get a gallop. Or not now coming at them race them as a rider. So the experience was limited. You recall your first winner? First winner was Donald Chad. How long how much longer? No man, after that was in that riding. was in twenty eighteen in November. November seventeen. Yeah. And you got your license when? What what time in twenty eighteen? What month? What month? September. September. And November you got your first winner. Right. So tell me, I mean, having gone through all of this and now to officially ride your first winger, what was that feeling like? Well, it was a great feeling, you know. Because, uh, to be honest, I didn't expect to win my first race so quick. Mm -hmm. Due to where I was, yeah, I was way behind. But that first win motivated me, mm -hmm. yeah, and built my confidence. And, the lady by the name of Miss Sue, she was, she was behind me, giving me confidence in the, in the school, yeah. So since your first winner and up to now, how many winners have you ridden? Uh, I've ridden at about 60. I'm not sure 60 or much, but I know it's 60 something heading towards 70. Mm -hmm. How has the journey been so far from 2018 till now? What, six years in the saddle? Uh, going, going into six years? How has that journey been so far? Up and down. Yeah, but so far, good. No complaint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm grateful and I'm grateful for where I am right now. And you think you're seeing the steps gradually where you're getting better and better and yeah. accomplishing what you want? Yeah, so far. And I'm sure that being named champion apprentice would motivate you. Allah. You're from a batch, um, a rich batch. Right. You, you mentioned Radish Roman, Tevin Foster. Tevin was second last year. Radish was in the top five or there are thereabouts. They're both the top two riders now in terms of the, the standings for 2024. Right. How much has that motivated you to lift even higher? Well, it motivated me a lot because I finished 10th in the standing last year. Mm -hmm. As I say, them are the top two rider in the standing. I am trying to do my best to reach as far as I can into the standing this year, from 10th to somewhere a better place. Mm -hmm. and, and you're putting in the work, you're, you're, you're freelancing, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always present at work. Yeah. I'm putting in as much work as I can. Trying not to have any job off for work. Two today, I try to work four tomorrow as much mm -hmm. each day and day. So you're doing what you can right. to ensure success. Right. We know, you, we know this is a 24-7, 365 days of the, of the year type of job. You exercise every morning. Right. 
what do you do to supplement that in terms of do you have a, a, a physical regimen in the evening like gym or just jogging what what you do to well used to go to the gym but now you know so I keep physical active mm -hmm. jogging yeah do a few push-ups and sit-ups what what is Matthew Bennett expecting or hoping for for the rest of this year, do you envisage probably getting rides in any classics or anything like that? Yes, so far, Matthew Bennett is expecting the best in the game for 2024. Should be in a few classics. I've never ridden in a classic before, mm -hmm. and I expect. And hoping. I expect to be in. Eager looking, looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Because those are the races, you know, right. that you want to stamp your class and, and you know, notch up those kind of wins. Right. Since you've been here, Matthew, uh, which is the best horse you have ridden? The best horse, I would say, secret identity. Mm -hmm. And is that your favorite horse? I mean, it might be the best, but not necessarily. Your, which horse you, you enjoy riding? Well, at this present moment, me enjoy riding a horse by the name of Smart Asset. Yeah. What, what, what's so special? What do you enjoy most about that one? Uh, he's a good horse. I've ridden him four times and one three of the four. They're often racing. Speedy here gets a flyer. Also there, that's Fly Blue Jet in the middle. Right there to that City Hawk, over toward the far side and tacking across, that's Oasis Jack. Close to us and traveling nicely, that's Bazinga, right on the defense. Uncle Nub is also in the mix. So it's Bazinga, Uncle Nub, right in the middle, Speedy here, over on the far side, Oasis Jack, right there to that's Fly Blue Jet. Also in on the premises, that is... Uh, City Hawk as they come out of the chute and head towards the uh, two furlong point on the course and Oasis Jack charting the course on the far side closest to us Bazinga Speedy here is right there too along with Fly Blue Jet it's a wide open affair Speedy here Fly Blue Jet and and Bazinga is also coming on the Prince Bazinga Speedy here it's Bazinga Speedy here and Fly Blue Jet Smart Asset is also coming on the premises it's a mad rush to the line as now Fly Blue Jet is the front smart asset finding foot and smart asset could have beaten them all from Fly Blue Jet. Then comes Savvy Girl running on Bazinga and it got tied for fifth. Coming up as an apprentice, is there any senior riders here, whether locally or internationally, that you try to imitate, look up to, get inspiration from? Trevor Simpson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the man I've been admiring. At all times from them in mm -hmm. the game, yeah, because he's a very good rider. Outside of just being a good rider, what about him that you that, that attracts you to him? He's a good champion, mm -hmm. yeah. From my memory of you, you seem to be a very good front running rider. Yeah. What do you prefer? You prefer horses that you can ride from in front, or I mean, whatever that horse loves to do, you well, you use the mind style of riding mm -hmm. horses that. PC. Go, 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 that love to go in front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can regulate them and rate them as much as I can and get, get them throughout the race. What do you think gives you that knack of, of rating horses well? Got that knack from a jockey by the name of Shane Ellis. He has good ass hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's a man that can rate them as much. Yeah to get the job done. What about horses now who log behind and come? How are you in, in those types of races? Or on those types of types of horses? Alright. Horses like those, I just I just need a clear passage. Mm -hmm. And it is it. That is it. If I'm get a clear passage from them type horses, maybe 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 get the job done. How do you prepare for, for your races? In terms of looking at the competitors and their style and what you expect or you plan out your races, generally speaking. Because every race is different. Right. Get the book. Go to read as much as I can. 
speed all the horses then see who's the speed try to know the horse that you I am on his running style mm -hmm. the journey that he's going if he can find himself in front of her we might have to sit and wait in the early stage and then make a move yeah that is what I do race riding is a very I don't want to say well it's dangerous right. have you had Spills, I remember one day you had a spill up at about furlong and a half or somewhere about there. Um, and I, I thought you, you got hurt in that. H have you had many of those? I have quite a few. Yeah, the first spill was about in 2019 or 2020, one of them years. Uh, the first spill that has turning, turn for home at the quarter pole and as him turning foot go and I don't know what happened after that because mm. I knock right out, cool cool, the first bill when I wake up at uh, one of the emergency room I was unconscious ok, did you suffer any broken limbs or no. anything? ok, ok but I got a terrible headache from it concussion I would imagine. I got a spill uh, in 2022, November mm -hmm. 6th from a house by the name of Isle Bless. Yes. I got a, a kidney, kidney damage. Okay. I was passing blood in my urine. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, was, that is the worst mm -hmm. spill I had in the game. Because I was out for quite, quite a while. How do you cope with situations like those when, when injuries and them things befall you? What is this, the, the, the support plan and recovery plan for you in those moments? Well, I, don't, I don't really make the spill get the better of me. Because I can't do a thing for the spill at all times. Mm -hmm. When you have to come back to riders, you know, go be the rider you was so I just tell myself for the game man you have to expect the unexpected right right yeah so do you see yourself winning championships of course you want to win classics do you say do you see yourself winning championships and probably one day taking your craft overseas is that part of the bigger plan for you yes that is a part of the plan mm -hmm. but you got to work for that mm -hmm. yeah you want to establish I'm yourself working. some more here. Right. And mm -hmm. I'm working to I'm working for the best mm -hmm. for my be. So if it happens that I'm in the making to become a champion then I I appreciate. It. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you are no doubt, outside of being even long before you became champion apprentice. People can see that you can ride. Right. You you are more than competent, right. more than a competent rider. What would you say to trainers, owners with quality horses, in terms of giving you a chance? Because you know you can get the job done. What would you say to them? Just just try with Matty Benny. Yeah, you get fairity and the best from Matty Benny, and Matty Benny can get the job done. Just, just have fear. Mm -hmm. In all of this, you must have family behind you. What does family mean to Matty Bennett? Family means a lot. Yeah. Uh, I have my mother support me. One million percent. Yeah. Auntie and sister and brother. Mm -hmm. Cousin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my supporters. You mind? Telling your mother. Call your mother name, man. Big girl, man, makes you feel good. Naldine Daly. That's my mother. Brother, by the name of Ronaldo Johnson. He's away in Canada. Mm -hmm. Jersey Robinson. He's away too in Canada. My sister, Janelle. Brian, she's here with me. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure you, you spoke about the down times when you injured and all them. That's when you need the support right, more. Right. Yeah, they are always there. Congrats on, on being champion apprentice for 2023. 
and we look forward to the day when you will step that up to becoming champion jockey of Jamaica. All the best and good luck, sir. Thank you, sir. My respect, Kata. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.